Hello, my name is Matthew Yaho, and in this video we're going to learn how to do capacity planning for QoS using Versa Solution. Let's assume the following scenario. We have multiple sites, and on one of them we configure the proper classification and assignment to QoS classes, and we want to make sure that our configuration is correct. So first of all, let's select this site for which we configured QoS. In that site, we need to go to the QoS menu, and here we can see that we have four traffic classes configured, best effort, expedited forwarding, network control, and assured forwarding. We know that in our configuration, we mapped all voice and video traffic to the expedited forwarding traffic class, and we gave it more priority. Also, we mapped all BGP sessions to the network control traffic, uh, all databases to the assured forwarding, and the rest is just in the best effort traffic class. And now, from this uh, screen, we can check exactly the usage of each of the traffic classes. For example, on this graph, we can see the volume of the traffic that was put in each of the traffic classes over the last day. We can also see statistics over the seven days, 30 days, and so on. And we can select, for example, if we want to see the statistics only for, let's say, Azure forwarding, or maybe we want to see for Azure forwarding and expedited forwarding, or maybe one of them and specifically how much traffic was uh, downloaded using each of these uh, traffic classes. On the screen on the right, we can see the bandwidth that was allocated to each of the forwarding classes and that was used by each of the forwarding classes. And also we can select only particular uh, traffic classes that we're interested in. At the bottom of the screen, we can see how much drops were uh, in each of the traffic classes. For example, right now we see that most of the drops were in the best effort. If we want to see everything but best effort, we can see that there was no drops in any other traffic class. But this specific menu uh, helps us understand if any of our traffic classes or might be overutilized or maybe underutilized, and it might signify that something might need to be reconfigured in our network. As well as we can see that, for example, we see drops in the uh, extra ad forwarding during day, but we don't see anything at night. It means that we can create dynamic rules to assign more bandwidth for the rest of the traffic classes at night and maybe prioritize it more and give more bandwidth during day hours. So anyway, this menu will allow you to see in a lot of granularity what is happening in your networks with the QoS and if you need to do any modifications to it. I hope this was informative for you and thank you for watching.